they are a source of food, a source of survival. It's an inheritance that we should leave every generation so that it's not destroyed. Around the nation, oysters have been sort of the canary in the estuary in terms of um, a great indicator of the health of our coast. So when we put these oyster shells in the water today, that provides habitat for other natural oyster larvae in the water to attach onto. We work to engage people in helping to protect and restore the coast of North Carolina. And the mission is to involve as many people as possible in being good stewards of our coast. It is high tide right now, but as the tide drops, you'll be able to see a lot of those moisture bags that we put out before. But a lot of this marsh grass here and on the other side, we planted with volunteers. Over the years, we really have tried to expand our programming so that we integrate our advocacy work with hands-on either habitat restoration or water quality restoration projects where we do things that people get their hands dirty actually doing environmental projects that result in tangible improvements. You can already see that oysters have attached to the oyster reefs we've made before and create a new habitat so that's always good to see. They feel good about what they've accomplished, but then if there's a public hearing on a water quality law, you know, now that they've been out with some sweat equity in the cause, you know, they, they see the value of going out and speaking up at a, at a public hearing or a public meeting. The oyster itself, it's a filter feeder and it actually cleanses the water. An area like Pamlico Sound, when the oyster populations were where they should have been, they, they actually recycled the water about every three days through all their oysters, so, which really you know, makes the water much more pure. And oysters, at reefs, you know, in, in addition to just being a good place to catch oysters, are also extremely valuable fisheries habitat. If you have healthy populations of oysters, the environment is probably still in pretty good shape. About 10 years ago, we really started um, working more with the state agencies to look at trying to fashion a blueprint for you know, where the effort needed to go to try to recover our oyster stocks in North Carolina. Hey, Camp Albemarle, thank you so much for coming. I hope you guys have fun. Everything is tied together one way or another. You know, the health of our coastal economy really does depend on the health of the coastal environment. And, you know, if the environment runs downhill, then, you know, we're not going to have a sustainable economy either. It's something you cannot replace. It's made by nature, and it needs to be protected. Making sure that we're building a foundation that is conducive to the challenges of the future is really you know, one of the things that we have to accomplish. And I think we're on our way to doing that.